Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to export the Vroid manga character from Vroid Studio to Blender with a complete facial expression morph, complete facial expression key, and with full skeleton, with face key, everything, the facial expressions. All right, now this is a Vroid Studio. Now I'm as demo. I will just use the sim simple character here. And now it's loading. Please wait for a moment. Wait for a while. Although it should not responding. Actually, you just need to wait for a while. It will respond. All right. Now you can see. This is a very cute manga character in Vroid Studio designed by me. Next, I'm going to export it out. Click the exporter. And wait for a while. Next, click export here. Now it will become a T-Pose. As demo, I will just open a new folder from, from on the desktop. Demo 01. All right. Inside here, I'm going to export the VRM file here from my Vroid Studio to here. Click export. Then click OK. Next, I'm going to export in this folder. So I copy this folder location and paste at the destination of export. Control V and remember to press Enter so that you enter this. So this this name is Caucasian Girl Zero One. Save as the VRM file, then I click save. After a while, you will create the VRM file here. Actually, it's your export 3D model. Now, the VRM file is here already. Now I can close the Vroid Studio. Next, this VRM file, you can go and download the Blender 2.9 first. I already prepared a download link for you. This is my Google my Google Drive download link, the Blender 2.9. After you download this, this is a zip file. Then you right click the zip file and extract all. Then you click extract here. Next, you should be able to get this folder. Inside, I already put a portable version of the Blender 2.9. Next, what you need to do is you download the, the Cat's Blender plugin master.zip this is another zip file that, that is compulsory to download. This is the plugin. You download the Cats Blender plugin master.zip. As a zip file, you no need to extract it. Just remain it as a zip file. After you have this, you open the Blender. Alright. In your Blender, you have to install this plugin. Click Edit, Preferences, then click Install. This location, the Cats plugin locations, the zip file is on my desktop, so I click Desktop, the Blender, Cats Blender plugin master. This one I double click it. Now, after finish install, we check one by one. Here, the search we type a type a cat C A T. Next, we check one by one. Where is it? Alright, it's under community, cat's plugin, make sure you tick it. Alright, make sure you tick the cat's plugin, then close it. So, even if you close the blender for next time, if you open it, the plugin is already installed inside here. The first thing what you need to do is you delete these three objects, the camera, the cube, and the light. Delete everything, then press N. The N is on your keyboard, N. See, this is N. Once you press N, you should be able to see the cats is here. Click the cats. Next, you should be able to see the import model and tree triple line here. Now I close everything. Next, my VRM file is here. Just now exported from, from the Vroid Studio. This is a VRM file. So now I copy this. This is the location I copy. Next, in your blender, you click the triple line. 
and click VRM. This is the process to import it. Click here and press Ctrl V to paste and always remember to press enter. Now you can see you already entered this folder. You can see your VRM file just to double click it and wait for a while. Sometimes it will show not responding here. You just need to be patient and wait for a while. It will respond after a few seconds or after one minute or two minutes. It depends on your computer speed. If you are using a very powerful gaming computer, it should be very fast. And what am I am I using now? I'm using a laptop, so it will be slower. It should not responding, but just be patient and wait for a while. It is loading loading the model into the Blender environment. Alright, now you can see it successfully loaded into your blender. And now, the next step what you need to do, you click the fixed model. Before you click the fixed model, you can see a wrench is here. Click the wrench and make sure you untick everything. Only left the fixed material. Only left the fixed material to be ticked. Then click OK. Next, you click fixed model. And wait for a while. Here it should not responding for a while. Now you can see all the materials already loaded. Now this is your your character. Now it is ready for you to make animation. Alright. Now it is a T pose. First I'm going to show you how to create a facial animation. How to create a facial animation. First, to create the animation, you can just pull this up so that you can see all the keyframe. Next, click the face. You can see now the face mesh already selected. It is under the shape key. Under the shape key and the face already selected, you can see all this mouth up, mouth angry, all of this. To create the facial animations, you must go and find all. If like all neutral, you drag this, you can change the facial animation. Okay, you can see all angry. If you want to make, make it all angry, you can you can create in this way just to pull this part you can adjust the facial all right so next we are going to find where to set the keyframe for example this animations where to set the keyframe it should be under here Alright, once you select it, for example, if you want to make an angry keyframe, before you make it, you already select it. If you, you put the value, you can see this one, the value, you click here, then you already set a keyframe here. Let's say after, after one second or two seconds, you click play. One second, it is about somewhere here. You want this girl to be angry in one second, so... Now, here you pull to 100, then you click here to set another keyframe. Next, after one more, let's say after one, sec one more second, maybe it's at the frame 30, 
you can make this become neutral again you set another keyframe then at the frame 40 you can make him be happy this one let the value be 1 sorry we don't want this maybe it's the font set this another keyframe so now if I click here to back to the frame 1 I click play The frame once, the value should set as zero. That is another keyframe. So now I play. You can see at this frame, this she's angry. The fun should be zero. Then set another keyframe. So within within one second, become angry then here become fun so this is only for the mouth if I want to reset everything you have you still have a lot of choices you can select all if all angry then it will include the eyes animation and the brow okay let's say if I reset everything delete all this keyframe delete all then it back to the neutral Let's say I want her to to be to be all angry at the 19th frame. I set it all angry. Then at the first frame should be totally neutral and set a keyframe. I play angry. Then at this moment I want her to restore everything back to neutral and also after a while become fun so then I set another keyframe now at this moment always remember before it starts the fun should be zero alright then set the keyframe again back it play you can see angry and then become fun now this is a facial animation already set. Sorry. Then anytime I can reset to one, then I play. The facial animation is already there. See? Everything worked perfect. Next, what should we do is the body animation. Alright. In order to select the body animation, now it's in object mode. You click the skeleton to select the skeleton. Next, click here to choose the post mode. At here, the first frame, it should be. Then here you should select this. At the first frame, see this. Uh, this is selected. At the first frame, I want this hand to be straight. So bend it down. So, all of these already have changes. Create a keyframe here. Next is this skeleton should be down. Then, set another keyframe. This is rotation. So, after one frame, after 10 frames, I want this hand to be lift up. Then here, set another keyframe. So here at this moment, I want this hand to be bent up. Once bent up already, set another keyframe. Now we try to test back to the zero frame and try to play. Okay. At the zero frame, this one I want everything to, to be reset. Don't bend first. Set 
just now is somewhere here as default then I can set it another keyframe so now everything is here I try to play again so at this point I want this hand to bend up now I set another keyframe now, this is the way to create the animation I play bends all right it also include the facial animation here now in general you can see all the all the animation that I created here play the facial animation is there and the skeleton animation are followed together they are all just insert as a keyframe and this is about how everything about how to export the Vroid manga character from Vroid Studio as VRM and import into Blender by using the cat's plugins and how to create animation and, and activate activate all the face key all the facial expression here if you want to back to the facial expression you need to select back to the object modes and click the face here you still can see the face animation everything still here and that's all for today about the blender animation of the Vroid character and thank you for watching if you love my video tutorial if you feel us all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3d animation and game developer you can subscribe to my youtube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time i publish a new video tutorial you receive the notification immediately see you in my next video enjoy and happy animation